Hey guys, Static here, and welcome to the first episode of my new LP series. You guys have been asking for it for quite a while, and so despite my initial hesitation, I've decided to finally get off my ass and actually do it. So, And believe it or not, I'm actually quite excited for it. So, let's uh, get a world created here. Now, I'm normally pretty picky with my worlds, but uh not going to give myself the... The option this time, we're just going to create a random world and whatever we get, no matter how much it sucks or how awesome it is, we're stuck with it. So keep your fingers crossed for a good world, guys. Lots of snow and mountains would be nice. I'm seeing lots of snow, so someone was keeping their fingers crossed. Uh, it's starting to look like it might be a cave over there with some randomly falling gravel. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm liking this so far, guys. Um, so, basically, while the, while the world's generating, I might uh, lay the ground rules for the LP series. Basically. Um, so, I'm going to be playing on hard difficulty, as you can see. Um, on a very, very rare occasion, I might take it off hard. Um, that'll basically, you know, be extremely rare guys you know in case there's a creeper in my base i haven't backed up the world and it's about to blow up something that we've been working on for several episodes uh something like that but beyond that guys it'll be hard difficulty all the way so um yeah also i'm not gonna oh, i'm gonna try and keep editing to an absolute minimum which believe me that's that's going to be a killer for me i love to edit my videos and cut out all my my mistakes so, um, yeah, basically what that translates to, guys, is don't expect a finely polished uh, video. Basically, what, what I give is what you guys are going to get. So, if I make mistakes, you guys, yeah, you're stuck with it. So, um, I'm also not going to be using mods at all, guys. Uh, I know a lot of you want me to use mods. And as tempted as I am to use some mods, like, for example, the Piston mod and whatever else, um, I'd like my videos to be accessible to as many people as possible. And if I start using mods, um, anyone who doesn't use those mods is going to be left out a little bit. So, uh, that being said, um, if I find a, uh, like a texture pack or something that I really like, you know, I might might start using a text texture pack, but that's as far as I'm going to go with mods, guys, so uh, keep that in mind. Don't start asking me to use mods because I'm not going to. That being said, I'm really, really excited for Notch, uh, hopefully soon, including Pistons. That would be absolutely awesome. I've seen a lot of videos on Pistons, and they look like a lot of fun, and I've already got a lot of ideas for Piston creations. So yeah, really looking forward to that update whenever that happens to be. Uh, so I'll get stone pickaxe going here so I can throw this wood one away. As you guys know, I hate working with wood tools. I only ever make one of the things, unless I absolutely have to make more. Um, and that's that initial wooden pickaxe. Alright, so what else? Um... I might occasionally record the episodes ahead of time, guys. Uh, so sometimes it might be just a day or two ahead. Other times it might be a full week ahead, guys. Um, so if Notch happens to put out an update to Minecraft between when I shoot a video and when I upload it, um, and you happen to notice, guys, don't don't think I'm cheating or anything. Um, I, I don't know how I'd be cheating, but... Um, just keep in mind that I've just uh, recorded the video ahead of time. Now, the reason I'll do this is mostly because um, I'm still at uni, guys, and I'd like to upload these videos on a regular basis. Uh, I'll be trying to upload them every Monday. Um, and so the only way I'm going to feasibly be able to do that around uni is if I take all the spare time I've got and basically record videos whenever I can. So, yeah, be expecting to see videos uploaded a little bit ahead of time, guys. Um, now, I'll also... Oh, this is looking really cool. Um, I'll also quite often give you guys, uh, like, a choice what I do in my next episode. Um, basically, what will happen is, if I'm working on a project 
which uh, like let's say for example a, a mob system or something like that um, and then we discover a really cool cave um, I'll give you guys the choice of whether you want to uh, whether you want me to explore the cave or keep working on the mob system. And the way you guys choose that is um, I'll put up a poll on either uh, my channel's Facebook page or our blogger account. Um, yep, this is where we're going to start our base, I think, right here. Um, yeah, so then you jump onto either of those guys and chuck in your vote. Now, I will quite regularly put competitions and uh, news for the channel and comp uh, votes and that kind of thing up on my blogger, uh, Tumblr, and Facebook accounts. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, it is a good idea to, to follow each of those. So I'll put the links to them down in the description just in case uh, you haven't started following them yet and you would like to. And oops. And finally, um, I'll be trying to upload these videos uh, as 20 minutes in length. Um, sometimes they might be a little bit over or a little bit under, but most of the time they'll be about 20 minutes. So keep that in mind, guys. 20-minute episodes up every Monday. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get cracking on our base. So I've got quite a bit of wood, a uh, little bit of stone, don't really need too much because, um, let's face it, the stuff's everywhere. Uh, basically, um, as I s mentioned as I was um, creating the world, guys, I wanted either one of two types of area. I wanted either tundra, so the, the snowy biome that I found myself in now, or nice big mountainous kind of areas. Um, those are my two favourite types of biomes, and lo and behold, we actually found one of them, so, quite lucky. Now, before it gets too dark, I'd also like to try and find some, um, coal and a little bit more stone, because I want to make some, um, axes to chop down these trees in the near future. Because as cool as it is having a forest around me, um, Oh, uh, there's some coal over there. I'm intending for my base to be quite big. Um, and so, yeah, I don't think there's really going to be any room for a forest there. And the coal, that, that's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, I just don't want you guys um, to not be able to see. Uh, as I explained in um, the challenge video, yeah, it's, it's not fun if you guys can't see, so... stone and I think I'm good. I, I need to get back and um, dig myself the beginnings of a base sort of pretty quickly because uh, it's about to uh, about halfway through my day but you know, I'd like to like to get myself sorted before night time hits before I have to deal with mobs and stuff. Now I normally don't make a a house, so to speak. Um, to be honest, I can't remember the last time I made a normal house, so uh, the closest I'm going to get is making this little uh, beginning base thing. Um, and I'm probably going to destroy that before long. So I think we might make it into the base of this hill here. Nice, steep kind of a hill, so makes it nice and easy to dig into. I oh, had more coal. Might. Oh, I just heard a wolf. Oh, I got no bone though, so it doesn't really matter. Would have been cool to get a pet this early on, but. Kind of need, uh, need to have fought some baddies for that. Ok, 
Okay, that'll do for now. I'll get my um, my workbench. We'll put a door on the front. Uh, expand it out a little bit. Put a bed in there. Um, one of the, one of my main goals with making that little area is like to make a bed uh, so I can sleep. And I believe that changes your spawn location. Um, now, pretty new to this world, so oh, I should make a bed uh, door first. Um, pretty new to this world, so if I die, I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to find my way back here. And I like this location. This is a really cool location. I've got a lot of big plans for this place already, so... Yeah, I would not want to lose this place. So, I'll shift my spawn. There we go. And... Dig this in a little bit. That's where my bed will be. And we'll just um, make this a little bit symmetrical. And try and make it a little bit more homely. Even though it's temporary, it's... Uh, it's nice to still have a nice looking beginning base. One more. Now I think um I think we might actually try and get started on the mob system today. That's uh, pretty much the cornerstone of most of the things that I want to make. I'd like to get a mob system going pretty early on. I think I might turn music on as well. Uh, just, just quiet, but I like the music. Um, I turn it off because when I'm filming my uh, tutorials and uh, build with me videos and whatever else. It's a bit of a pain in the ass when the music just randomly comes on, and especially if I'm, if I'm in the middle of a sentence or um, if the music is halfway through when I finish a take. Uh, a little bit of a window. Uh, yeah, so it just makes my life a whole heap easier. Um, to turn the music off, but I, I do like it though, it adds a cool feel to the game, I think. Alright, uh, we'll light this area up a little bit more. I've uh, got lots of stone now, which is good. Make myself a furnace. What else do we want? Uh, some chests to store. Some stuff would be nice. Okay. Oops. And I'll make some, um, I guess you'd call them emergency supp supplies. So tools for just in case I die and have to, you know, come back here and save my stuff really quickly. Uh, so I'll make a spare sword. And some, oh, some spare shovels. And we'll stash those in our little chest here. So if I die, um, I'm not left out in the cold. Basically, I can come back here and straight away get started. Now, also stash our saplings. Use them for later. Don't need the wool. Don't need our sugar cane. Now, I'll make some more torches as well. Uh, 
and I guess a couple more axes. I like to um, try and keep a surplus of pretty much everything. Uh, that's one thing you'll find out through the course of this um, Let's Play is that I tend to keep a lot of a lot of crap. I mean, you'd almost call me a hoarder in real life. Um, I don't do it in real life, but definitely do in Minecraft. So, and don't need the dirt. All right. Now, while it's night time, I would like to uh, find find some spiders. Oh, actually, before I exit, I'm gonna... I don't have any wood. Um, I'm gonna make a pressure plate really quickly, just in case I need to uh, get in here really quick, like I'm being chased by a creeper or something. I like to put pressure plate behind the door so that um, it slams behind me, basically. There's that music I was talking about. Alright. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, while it's still night time before we sleep it off and change my spawn location, I'd like to try and find a spider or two so that we can make a bow. I think that'd be really cool to get nice and early on. I'm seeing a lot of bad guys spawning now over this way. Mostly zombies, though. I don't really care about zombies. <sighs> oh, this is cool. Okay. Gonna have to explore that later on. Now, um... As I mentioned before, uh, I know that it's no fun for you guys if you can't see, but I don't want to ruin my map or... Actually, that music's sounding a little bit loud. Yeah, I don't want to ruin things by um, placing torches absolutely everywhere, especially now that I'm in this snowy biome. I don't want that uh, those torches melting all of my snow. Um, so you'll notice that during the night, I'm... Um, brightening up the videos just so you guys can see and uh, that's actually an idea that I got from um, CoStar I recently started watching his videos um, and yeah I mean they're quite entertaining if um, if you get a chance check out his videos uh, not that he needs the shout out from me but um, I'm gonna give it to him anyway credit where credit's due oh, don't Explode. Ah. Wow, suicide creeper. But, um. Yeah, so check out his videos if you get a chance. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And, uh, yeah, so got the idea from him, so I'll be doing that quite regularly throughout the series whenever it's night time that we're doing stuff. Oh, another spider. Awesome. Alright, we've got our bow sorted pretty much. We need a little bit more wood first. So once we get our bow sorted and stashed, I'm going to um, sleep through the night and try and find us some food. Because uh, I think playing... Oh, here we go anyway. Uh, found some food already. Um, playing hard difficulty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up needing that food, so... At one point or another, anyway. Alright. 
So we'll stash those bones for if any wolves come by later on. Shame we didn't have them earlier, but... There we go. Now eventually I will be um, stashing this stuff in some sort of a recognizable system but um, at the moment one chest I don't really have that many options so it's gonna be pretty disorganized for the moment all right um, yeah let's have a sleep haha <laughs> die zombie and so I'm hoping that's changed my spawn location to in that little cave. Ah, oh, skeleton, let's get some more bone and some arrows. Go love free stuff. Oh, except when they're stingy. Now yeah, I saw one burning over here as well. I think. There we go. No arrows though, unfortunately, which is a little bit disappointing. So we've got a bow, but nothing to use it for. Alright, now I might uh, just pause here quickly. I'll check how long we've got, uh, how long we've done so far, and see if we've got enough time to start work on the mob system. No, nope, unfortunately we're out of time, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed watching anyway. Uh, next episode, I think we'll get started on the, uh, the the mob system, and then the episode after that, I'll be giving you guys a choice of what you want to do uh, using those polls. So, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, if there's anything that you'd like me to do or you know, any tips or anything and yeah thanks for watching